busy um, boat ramp here today. Check it out. It's gonna be chaos here this weekend. I'm trying to beat the rush. Right? I'm trying to beat the rush. We've got Paul here from Older is Optional. Going out for, uh, was it three days, two nights camping trip. We've had a bit of a slow start, um, wheel bearings and all that, but we're getting there. So the size of this boat. Spanish mackerel shoot out too, so. Um, hopefully we get in amongst them in a couple of days time, but two nights, three days, it's gonna be epic. Look at this beast, eh? Boats coming in, boats going out. Ramps nearly full. It's gonna be a busy weekend, I reckon. So we've got all the um, all the usual gear in here. Um, got the swags. I started using these storage boxes now. So I got one with clothes, one with um, a bit of cooking ware, but Paul has like most of the food and camping stuff with him, which is handy. It's really good taking two boats. You can split the gear up between two um, so that one boat's not just fully, fully chockers. And we're heading out. It's about 3.50, so it's high tide 50 minutes ago. Hoping on um, the spot we want to go camping, we can still get access to it. Um, Cause generally you need that tide to get in and then overnight as the tide goes down, it'll just rest on the sand. Um, it's a bit like a reef flat to get over. So you need that water. So hopefully it's okay. Should be a good trip. Hoping for some finger mark. It is winter, so the Spanish mackerel will be about, and Spanish mackerel comp this weekend. Just fingers crossed we can get get a good fish, put one in to enter. But we're just really glad to get out on the water. Really, um, it's quite convenient. The comp is the same weekend. So the last outing um, didn't tie the bimini back well enough on the way home on the road with the car and the trailer. And the bimini actually broke. So I got no bimini for this trip, for three days. Generally when I head out to the islands, I like to have the bimini for a bit of shade. Um, when I'm in shore fishing, I don't worry about it because I'm not out as, as far. Uh, but yeah. a nice boat 233 formula so hopefully we don't get roasted Paul went and picked up some wolf herring earlier from Tackle World got me this um, face sock legend lifesaver otherwise I'd probably roast three days in the Sun with no shade man it looks beautiful out there Absolutely stunning. I reckon we're gonna have a cracker. Cracker three days.
I got the new um, LSC soft vibe on at the moment. We got a 45 gram, 115 millimeter, and also got this fella here, 20 gram, 20 gram, um, 95 mil. Yeah, so that's it there in the Qantas color. Um, VMC hooks, four times strong. And there's the beautiful purple one. I haven't named that color yet, but a really solid bit of gear with a solid through wire to the tail there. Not a um, stranded one, so when you hook up that extra large finger mark or GT or something, you know, it's not gonna fail you. Yeah. Let's reposition the boat, redrift. So we're in about 25 meters of water here. The vibe's getting down there nicely. Got the fish stacked in the water column there. Most likely batfish. But we can hope for a cobia or something mixed in there. Going the much smaller vibe this time. It's a 95, 20 gram. Still getting it down there. I don't have much line on this reel, unfortunately. Let's we'll see how we go. Oh, we're on. We're on. My reel just got a little bit tangled. What's this? A little, little 20 gram endless seas vibe. Two head shakes on it. I don't know what this thing is. Not really pulling line, but it's shaking around a lot. Lots of shaking around. Silver. That was a golden trevally, I think. Cool. On the new lure. There we go, beautiful golden trevally. On the um, light jigging setup. New endless seas, 95 mil, soft vibe. Outlaw vibe is what I'm naming them, 20 grams. See those trebles, they've um, pinned in there really well, so like, he wasn't getting away. Beautiful fish. Pretty happy to get that. A lot of fun. I'm thinking of using it for a trolling bait for a Spanish this weekend. It's just epic um, colours on that lure, hey? Epic look to it. Beautiful fish. If you guys, um, if you're after any lures, hit me up, message me on Facebook, Instagram, and I'm um, gonna organize getting those ordered for you. I'll see you, buddy.
<laughs> if he survives. <laughs> Mate, go find your friends, eh? He's going down now, he'll be right. Just take a bit of time to recuperate, hey? Actually, I got that Trevally fast wind and then pause. 21.9 meters now. That's the sound of there. Oh, yep, we're getting a few tappy taps. Yep, we're on. Ah, yes. Ah. Oh, this is a better fish. I think it's another golden. Ah. Yeah, it's a bit better. Oh, he's dropped it. No. Oh, he's on again. They have pretty um soft mouths, actually, the goldens, so. They're really sharp hooks, which can tear through them. <laughs> oh, this guy's peeling a bit of line. Oh, well, this might be a bit better fish. <sighs> Such an, oh, nah, busted me off. Kidding me? What happened there? Broke. That's weird. I find it quite hard to um wind the fish in on the little bait caster when it's a big fish. Probably like combined with that rod. It just bounces back to the stiff position very suddenly. Like where this rod, it's very um, forgiving. A bit soft at tip. Uh, yes, yeah, so it's, I don't know, it's just a bit weird that little overhead setup. So I didn't tie on another 95 mil. I got the 115 on. So it should hit as well, but possibly they're after that smaller profile. Maybe with it not as heavy as well, it's not plummeting down to the bottom so suddenly. Yeah, on. Hey. On bait. Was that on bait? On a vibe. Yeah, they seem to be liking them, eh? Was it real bouncy? Yeah. Yeah, it would have been Golden Trevally. They don't like peel heaps of lime, but they do that all the time. Like wriggling around. I reckon they're preferring those smaller, smaller profile. Let's try them what they want. Put the smaller profile on. Qantas is down. I'm gonna put another purple one on. And as though they quite like that. Look at that little cutie. Alright, we're down there now. Fish are coming up. Drag. Yep. The old pulls me to water. It's another garden. Definitely so much better on this rod. There it is. Stacks on the sounder. 
I'm gonna try and um, get this one in, release and drop that lure back in. Mate, that's a little bit better. He's still got a lot of energy because I winched him up. Good targets on the lure as well. Time to say goodbye, my friend. Goodbye, my friend. There we go. Woo! That was fun. He's better on that rod and reel. Alright, here we go. See them in the water column. And I'm gonna just lift her up. Basically, like slow, slow jigging. Pause. And we're on. Oh. Pause. Might have to let it sink down again. Pause. And let it sink back down. What you want to do? Let your little sink through the school. Because the vibe has a very wriggly tail. You don't have to just use it on the bottom. You can jig it through mid-water. With that towel flicking around and the pelagics will hit it too, just like that golden trevally earlier. Oh, it's always on that pause. Golden Tree Valley. Three, I think, three or four. Yeah. When you see them stacked up, I'm just lifting them, lifting the lure through the water column and they seem to hit on the paws. All right, so the fish are still biting, but we really got to go because that sun's going down. And and that water is going down as well, so we want to make sure we can get our boats in. And obviously the further the water goes down, probably the further we'll have to walk our gear. But yeah, let's head over to camp. We've got to get set up, get a feed. See you there. This is the um, gazebo Paul's brought along, table, essentials right there, 
And yeah, these are the containers I've been using or using of late just for a bit better storage. We've got the fridge, battery, lighting, and there's a solar blanket over there. A lot of luxuries, but it's nice when you're here. We're gonna be here two nights, so two nights, three days. Well, not really two days, two nights, so it's, it's worth it to bring the gear. If you're just on a one-nighter, it's probably too much effort. Like you just rock up and cook a feed, chairs and a swag, that's all you need. Uh, but when you're here for a couple of days, it's nice to have a few luxuries. Oh, I've got my um, swag going up here. I've had this swag since like I was 18 or something, 17, so 10, 10 plus years. Lasts a long time. Um, yeah, beautiful spot. Yeah, so there's a little tip I learnt from Paul. Use these containers. Um, so I've got clothes in there that'll keep dry <coughs> with these lids. They don't have seals on them, but like you just make sure they're not getting drenched. This one got a little bit wet, but um, in the travels, but you can see everything's fine. And in this one, I've just got a bit of cooking equipment, a gas cooker, bottles, saucepan, salt, peppers. That's kind of like on the run if we want to cook something up tomorrow whilst we're not at camp. But yeah, just a little tip, storage containers. Hey guys, thanks for watching another episode. Hope you really enjoyed that one. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. We caught some really epic fish this trip and a lot of them were on the new Outlaw Vibes that I've released. If you guys want any, hit me up. I'm still in the process of setting an online shop, but you can message me and make that order through Instagram or Facebook Messenger. And just a reminder as well, if you live in the Mackay area and you have any electrical work you need done through my um, business, Shawvold Electrical, I'd be happy to help out with that. Or if you need an air conditioner installed, hit me up. Um, details are on Facebook, Instagram, and I'm on Google as well. Until next time, guys, I hope you have a really good day, a really good week, and yeah, look out because this is a three-part series, three days island adventure, and um, yeah, some epic fish coming up, um, including probably one of the pinnacles of the island fishing for me. Um, that'll probably be part three. So yeah, keep an eye out, turn that notification bell, and I'll see you in the next episode.